TikTok ka Tanzania wa Tanzania eh Tatueleza support ni mtu wenu but you you just take the lead eh no, and I'll just just want some yeah, you know, so DJ if you're ready see the list that I'm here watching yeah remember tutaanza na wimbo wa taifa wa Tanzania stanza moja wa wimbo wa taifa wa Tanzania just the first ones are for the national anthem of Tanzania. So we all stand in respect of Tanzania. So. Okay, I've been given a very good suggestion. For this time, we'll play the East African community, and then when we have a winner, we'll play the national anthem. I think that's a good way forward. So, DJ, kindly give us the East African community national, East African community anthem. That is the sound of the East African anthem to kick off proceedings formally. You have to love this. Oh boy, this is the moment. Save how much the world is watching. Ibra said about the world is watching. That is the stanza of the East African anthem to open proceedings live from China Palm and Grill. So let's get ready for the China Grand Open for If you are hearing the sound of this voice, ladies and gentlemen, lovers of the sport, it has been a grueling four days, but we are down to this moment. The final moment that is extremely consequential. The winner walks away with 750 Kenyan shillings, thousand like that, five thousand dollars to be specific, as well as bragging rights for the next 12 calendar months as the China Grand Open champion. Before us, this match will be overseen by two referees. Innocent Wafula from Kakamega, the reigning league champion. So the referees are just enabling the players to understand the rules and what's going to happen and how it's going to be. The react. reigning for the league, league champion for the Kakamega League, Innocent Wafula, will be taking charge of proceedings. He is a very established as chief professional. So when they are taking a shot, let's give them the respect that they deserve and be quiet. Oversaw the grand the final of the VS Open the in Kisumu. Called very tough calls within the game and he was right, vilified by the video review. Ladies and gentlemen, after that short speech by the referee, we will be underway officially. If you are catching this match so live from anywhere the across the globe, as well as aliens in the space, so good evening. Far, My name is Evans Okacha. I will be commentating tonight alongside a champion, Nafis Kara. Once in a while, he will give us a technical analysis of what is happening on the table. He plays so well. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Now on to the lag. The lag is won by safe. Asuroi Simon, thank you very much for your comment. 
Western Kepler watching all the way from Bomet. This is a good day to be alive. The business is finally underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Rock and Shoot Blitz. We shall be bringing you the commentary alongside uh, Nafis Kara. Now, tell you what, this will be fiery. Amos, an inspirational player, has just cut and raised this match for us alongside Senzo Gumede, the Black Bull World Champion. Branford Dekai, all the way from Meru County, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Now, it is already getting heated out here. The Tanzanian contingent in full voice already, behind their very own safe Haman. This will be a race to 11. This is the final for the Grand Mchana Open right here at the Mchana Pub and Grill in Nairobi County, in Nairobi City, Kenya, East Africa. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. It is such a delightful moment to have you on the stream. Ibra Sejemba on a visit. They already had a chance to have a feel at the table. Roll the balls and try it. Not just yet. Sami Amoni, good job, Okacha, my best player, made the best player win. You say? Something to note is that the president of Zimbabwe was actually watching the live stream through the Rock and Shoot Blitz in the match of Maluva against Ibra Sejemba. Very good things promised. Let's look forward to that. The team will be received as heroes. Those young boys came here and fought like real morons. You have to give it up to them. They are so tenacious. They are so courageous at their age to come out and try to conquer the world. Senzo Gumede was the victim of the sword of Maluva Mukonza. Keep joining the stream. Welcome, guys. If you are hearing the sound of this voice, this is the final of the Grand Uchana Open. Now, Ibra Sejemba getting very cagey very early on. In this race to 11, for the purposes of mental stability, winning the first frame is extremely critical. Shadok Parker, you say, the animal, good work. You know how tough a player I am? I actually have just registered to play um, the Rock Attack Premier League in Kisumu. I think uh, I must finish top three in that league. I do not just commentate. I actually play pool better than the way I commentate. I suck at commentating, I think, compared to how I play pool. Very good breaks on that white ball. The match is very navy, that's right. These are navy moments, just trying to settle in. The ball is not frozen. David Francis Semambo, you say the commentator is awesome. Man, you are awesome.
for the sake of this final. The network was tested and found to be fit. Drop us a comment, tell us if you are having a challenge with uh, your connection. From our end, everything looks, looks solid. Weekly for Biri, commentator Habariako. Nzuri sana, jambo buana, akuna mataram, my friend. How are you liking it? Kindly drop us a comment, tell us where you are watching us live from. Talk to us about the quality of the street. Ibra Sejemba on the visit. Remember, we shall be getting uh, snippets of wisdom from uh, none other than Nafis Kara, who will be joining this commentary as a seasoned player. Mike Chimombe Pasi. You are watching all the way from Scotland. You say the quality is top, top notch. You might want to fix uh, your individual uh, networks if uh, you, have a, you have a challenge. Nikki Ngugi, excellent stream. Chanda watching from Zambia, perfect. Akim from Malawi, I see you. Kiruma, wow. Lillian John, I am a fan of the commentator. It's wow, thank you very much. I started from uh, the knockout matches. I thought I will make it to the final as a player. Now, tell you what, we got to the final and there was a vacancy for the commentator. And I had to give up my dream of playing this final as a player. Thank God at least I made it to the final. At least as a commentator. Not a bad performance. Not a bad performance at all. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Timothy, keep, keep on move on. You say good job, commentator. Thank you very much. And now the tournament director decides to uh, control the crowd. Those boys from Tanzania are incontrollable. They are so happy. I think they have won the third place final. I will be getting you the uh, exact scores for that match. The third place final was between Johanna of Tanzania and Maluva. Pak Quintis all the way from Botswana. Thank you very much. Bongani Memela all the way from Dubai. How are you, my friend? Edwin Kikwai, always uh, great to have you. Now, tell you what. At least Kenya has contributed a referee to this match and a commentator. We have made it to the final. We have to be proud of ourselves, really. Run for the Kai. You say we pass our greetings to uh, Meru Wat again? Tapio Aguele. It's clear from Cape Town, thank you very much. Darlington, Darlington from Zimbabwe. Bahat Senior, very good to have you on the stream, my friend. It's a beautiful evening in Nairobi. Temperatures holding steady at 23 now. Chiku Axon Alvins, you don't sound like a Kenyan, my friend. This is where I declare my interest. I will be a very balanced commentator on this one because I am from Kenya actually. This match is now very cagey, very, very delicate. You ask what's your prediction? Tell you what. I do not want to bring the commentators cast upon this place. What 
but this is a very close final. All these very good players. I must always remind you the story of my Swazi ex-girlfriend. I have to come down to South Africa in October and fix things. Very stubborn, but very good. The game stands at 0 0. This is the fast track. It's now taken slightly more than eight minutes. Eight minutes of delicate balance between snooker and attack. And that is the reason Hamad was patient. Finally, Ibra lets up, gives up his visit on the table, as well as a bonus of two shots to go with it. Now, for those that are new to black ball rules, he has the cue ball in hand. The first shot is a free shot, and he can play any object ball on the table, including the black. Decides to open up. The corner pocket. Silas Lovusi Muloma of Kitale. How are you today, my brother? Thanks for your compliment. And now, Safe has a maze of pattern to work his way through to the black ball. There are about 700 fans in this arena watching live. Safe is shooting very well. On the extreme sides of your picture, you should be able to see the scoreboard from time to time. And bang, safe opens his account with a deposit of one rock under his belt. And now we are game on. Now to bring uh, Nafis Kara into the fray now. You have watched the first game. How has it been in terms of uh, the, tuck, the tucked around um, how the players have gone around the first track? Uh, I believe that uh, they struggled a little bit because of uh, the new environment of the table. I believe that uh, they both haven't played on this table yet and uh, they struggled a bit but I believe after frame three or four they will both be uh, having a feel of the proper table. Mm -hmm. I can confidently tell you that I watched uh, Safe play against Caesar and believe it or not he made five break and finishes against Caesar man. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sejemba Ibra played against Maluva from Zimbabwe. He made quite a lot of uh, reverse dishes. Yes. Dishes. Uh huh. And uh, it's a joy to watch when these players get the right feel of the table. All right. There will hardly be any tactical play. Uh huh. It will be full on attack. It will be full on, right? Yes. Thanks very much for that. A good reminder there by uh, Karan Afis. Safe Hamad put on some great show. A fight of his life to milk the elephant. Caesar Chandiger was taken down by Safe Hamad on his way to this final. He totally deserves to play this final tonight.
and now Sejima Ibra on a visit now. Joel Kipto, you ask Kenyan Kenyan representatives, anyone from LD? Now tell you what, the only Kenyan playing a role in this final is the center referee and yours truly, the commentator. We did so well for ourselves. We fought so hard, but it was not just possible. We live to fight another day. Well, uh, Mr. Evans, this looks like it might be curtains if he gets the shot on. Wow. Wow. He needs to work his way through because um, I don't think he landed where he expected to land. And uh, the black ball is still in a really difficult position. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason why they call him the little magician. Uh huh. So let's wait to see if there's any magic that's going to happen. I saw him uh, waving his cue stick uh, like a magic wand in the semi final. Pulled a very uh, difficult shot. And got the crowd off their feet. Pay attention for some magic portion. James Woye Timberlake, you are getting us loud and clear from Dakar, a great final. We hope that this is the first of many as Africa is stepping up and rising in the sport of pool. Very much regards to Mr. Chairman. Very much regard as well for one Mr. John Mungai, Chairman, for being so gracious to host us and for organizing such a lovely tournament. They also call him JNM. He should spool very nicely. He could actually have uh, won this tournament as well. Now, if you are thinking what I'm thinking, I do not want to invoke the curse of the commentator. But ladies and gentlemen, safe is now on turbo. I believe according to the rules, uh, that is the two shots. Okay. The way he played it. Yes. Uh, legally, it was not a push, but it's the way he elevated his cue based on his hands not going on the table. Mm. So, I don't know what the referees will say. Maybe they will... The referee has a call to make. I think uh, it's already made. It's been made. I don't think they're going to give it. Looks like a double hit. Like the one famous double hit at that final. Oh, yes. uh, at the VS Open, actually. Exactly. Simon Lubolua lost that much painfully because of that decision, of course, which was right and verified. But uh, safe might not need uh, a foul to run out this rock. Pay attention. There will be no slipping in his village tonight. All the people in his village are up watching their homeboy, fighting for the flag and fighting for them. Safe Hamad, nowhere near top three players of Tanzania, 
worked his way up in this 128 mile competition to remain among the last two standing and now he stands a very solid chance to take the flag of the mountain virus peter madungo when come back it's good to see you lillian john you say we are awake You say uh, he is called the ghost, as well as Aiden Joseph, they share that uh, AKA. <coughs> this match is as good as done. I have watched so many pole matches. I am confident calling this one. He will go center pocket with a slight right English. to come down table to line up for the block. Apollo John, you say you are watching from Rakataki Sumo. How are you today, Apollo? Mr. Chairman, we are so glad to have you on board. Today we are with the captain in the commentator's booth, cracking the technical issues within the game for us. Chilu Aksun and Vince. Now you can clap. But now I get the rights to tell you I told you so. <laughs> Lillian John, you say Tanzania are coming to conquer South Africa. This is just the beginning. Wake up all the villagers, tell them their homeboy is on the hunt. Fanale Kwale, you say best commentator, man. Thank you very much. This has never been about me. This is always about the great company you have always provided us with. Always inspires us to do what we do. Virus Peter Madungo, this is a race 211. This is the final. In the commentator's booth, I'm also joined by Peter Kinua, a very experienced old head in the sport. So many years behind his queue. He can tell us a, a thing or two about technical analysis of these matches. Look at that queuing. It's very interesting, really. The feathering itself is very interesting. I have to actually tender in an apology for Peter Chobe Life. He has been taken ill midway this tournament. Alongside myself for this streaming of the final, we have William Soko of Zambia, Francis Mukwekwe of Zimbabwe. That's a delightful guy. East Africa Pool by his. <laughs> Through all these channels, you can catch the live game. Michael Mashana, you say your English is clear. Do you have Zimbabwean roots? How I wish, my friend.
the Maxi Dao Atete, you're watching from Juba, South Sudan. Say hello to our China Grill crews. I will definitely convey your message. Best on how the frame looks. I think it's, it's done and out. Malit Solar Rock, this is where you say I once dated from South Africa. But my friend, that's fucked. This Swazi lady, she keeps coming back in my dreams, huh? Beautiful. But very stubborn. Park Quintus Dithuso. Mr. Evans, is there any link in YouTube? I will be typing the name of the YouTube link in the comment section just now. Wow. Very good cue ball control to land on the last ball. Watching from Ireland, the picture quality and sound are 100%. Turai, thank you very much. Olipa Kalalo, watching from Zambia, one love, full family. Rock number three is down. Justin Motiri, you say commentator, please behave, please behave, right? Tell you what, sir, there's some space with some creative freedom. I have a, a perfect place to let it out when we get her back. I will bring her into the commentator's booth. She can confirm all the stories. Let me bring now Peter Chobelai. Not Peter Chobelai, but Peter Jobando. <laughs> we are you're so used to working together. And Peter Chobelai rolls so easy on the tongue. But this is Poge, Peter Jobando, to bring you the analysis of the fourth rock that is underway. Thank you very much. Thank you, Evans of Gacha, my good brother, young friendly from Kakamega City in Kenya. Here we are. We are witnessing. Sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This place is so crazy. It's so hot and so packed. It's so ecstatic. And I'm telling you, people, we are witnessing. History. The first from China, big grand open. East Africa against East Africa. Tanzania against. Uganda. So it's okay, it's easy. So, but what I'm telling you something for free. This is going to be massive. Ibra, a very experienced player, up against an upcoming very little. Very little player inside. So we are, we are, we are hoping, we are hoping this thing works out. We don't know where we go. Uganda might take it. It doesn't matter. It. Remember, it's a race to eleven, but still it's zero one, zero two. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. And I think, in my opinion, with the quality of Ibra. He's on yellow and he might finish this. I think he's gonna clear this. He's, he's shaking his head, wondering uh, what he could have done better, but in my opinion, it is a still a phase of the thing. Maybe wondering why the, the black ball will go, but it's a simple thing. You just need to come down and make it easy. Fast shot, fast. Exactly. Oh no. Why? In my opinion, you can grab this shot and go and follow me and then go to the same Yeah, so still let's see. Oh. Nicely. 
recovery. Fantastic recovery. These are top players. Top level. And he does it. And he does it. Uganda too. Tanzania too. Ibra too. Thai too. So it's, it's hot. So many crowds. So many people. I'm telling you, it's massive. People are excited. It's because of sports. Sports never unites us. Sports equalizes. Sports brings us together. And sport, in my opinion, replenishes humanity. So here we are. We are really having fun here. Which is, remember, it's a, the Grand China Open. I know the big blockbuster people have been waiting for. Massive, massive game. I'm telling you. Best to 11, 2 2. It's too close to call. You may never know who will win. May the best player win. So many people are around, so many people are around, too much noise, sometimes we just have to balance because we also don't want, the, the players are not so far from us, we don't want the players to hear what we are saying, so it's just, it's just balancing, we, we talk we balance as much as possible, but let us see how it goes, because for us is to bring you live coverage. Just next to me, the Kenya captain, the captain for Nyanza, the captain for Kisumu. Nyanza. Next to me here, Nafis Kara is watching this game so closely, wondering, oh, wow, why did I miss? Why did I miss this this moment? But he says he'll be ready for the next Montana Grand Open, and that's what sports all about. When you win, you lose. You are a winner. Remember. He was the person who promoted the major event in Kisumu, the Fuel Junction Open. I'm telling you, it was a very big fix, the VS Open. It was a big, almost one, one and a half months ago. It was a big, all day, East Africa came, Uganda came, the Zimbabweans came, Tanzania came, and it was a big, massive thing. So it's massive, 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 massive. And I think we appreciate it so much. Going forward, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing for sport because we, we find it, this guy is saying, this guy is saying, and promoters is our and this thing can actually make the, who knows, these young boys and girls make something out of their lives. Very good, very good. Oh, my God. I for him. Just unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but it's still too early in the frame. It's still too early for frame. I think, in my opinion, I might not say Libra has a big advantage, though he's in control. But let's see, let's see how it goes. Can still go either way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at China Pavan Vale, the, the heart of Nairobi city, opposite the Precinct Mall. It's quite hot, the noise is too much, it's crazy. I'm telling you, outside is so packed. Inside is packed, it's so hot. And you're next to the table. We are balancing. We cannot talk so loudly. We cannot talk. I'm telling you, wow, look at that shot. Look at that shot. Oh, nice try from Mitra. But he has to. I think he'll do that. Look at that in the center and try to replenish his energy for the disruption of this red ball next to these two yellow balls because in my opinion that is the problem ball so this thing is big big moment every it's like every frame is the final frame These people are so serious you see it. oh oh my god that's what i tell you sometimes you overthink sometimes you avoid to play one shot at a time and in the process you lose the concentration and the focus at the wrong time. 
So there we go. He has given the young man from Tanzania a chance to tilt the tables towards his win on the frame. It has been a very hectic week. Very hectic for five days. Beautiful, hot. Top players in the Kenya, what to do Africa, all top players in Europe, top you are here telling you. And it was big and uh, in my opinion. Who knows? Wow, wow. And that was a problem ball, but it's made it a little bit difficult. It's a uh, difficulty is enhanced, but with this quality, probably he might manipulate it or oh, he's going, he's going for it. He's going for it. Let's see. Let's see. These Tanzanians can really cut balls. We say we saw some Tanzania from Zanzibar, from Dar es Salaam. Sorry, doing some serious cuts. So probably maybe this would be one of the cuts. Massive, massive, massive. And remember, the winner gets a lot of money, big, big money, big, big money. Look at that shot! Look at that shot! Look at that for a shot! What a shot! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, wow, what we're witnessing here is massive. In the words of my friend, Evan Sokacha, what a moment to be alive. This is the right moment to be alive to witness this blockbuster. This is a massive big blockbuster. What? What a snooker. What a snooker. Is it a snooker, Mr. Faan Kara? It looks like a lovely, lovely shot oh, from my friend. This is a top, this is a top player. This is a top player in Kenya. Nafis Kara is confirmed that was a shot in the half. Is it true, Nafis Kara? That, that looks like one of the best safeties I've seen in a while. All right. But uh, should Sejembra successfully come out of it, okay. he might get his own safety. But if not, then it will be curtains for him. I'm telling you, Nafis Kara is shouting, but the noise is too much. That's why it might not be clear on you, but it's, it's crazy, I'm telling you. Nafis Kara is too hot here. Very hot, but may the best player win. Oh, good one. Oh, good one. Good one. Oh, no. Good recovery from me, bro. Good recovery. People are uploading. So many people are uploading here. Very nice recovery. So this guy just needs to have control of himself. And probably, probably, he has so short against the cushion. And who knows, he might get another super in Mopino. I'm seeing a possibility of a snooker here. I'm seeing a possibility, big possibility for a snooker here. It is possible for a snooker. For this young Tanzanian tip top club player. where the magic happens all right stay tuned ladies and gentlemen this is what we live for thank you thank you thank you my brother no! ladies and gentlemen we're really struggling even where we are standing we can't even breathe we can't even walk we can't even move it's so packed this place is so packed but we're doing our best we're doing all we can we're trying all our best bring this thing live from Mchanapa Bangrail in the heart of Nairobi city. So this is the final, the Grand Mchanapa Open. This is the main event, the international event. 
they win a box away with a lot of money. Number two also work a lot of money. So let's see, let's see. Oh, it's okay. Let's see. Let's see it goes. I see there's a little space. There's a little space. There's a little space there. So it's very interesting. How he goes to manipulate that shot. They observe, ladies and gentlemen, we have a shot clock and it's 45 seconds. The referee gives you a warning at 30, gives you a warning at 15, and then starts the countdown from 10. There we go, we just witnessed it. Very nice cue control from Ibra, from Uganda. of these two players, Ibra has apparently more experience than the young guy from Tanzania. Ibra has played for years and years, so he has a lot of experience. It's a very important shot for Ibra from Uganda. Do you believe he's going to play a drawback, Mr. Poch? In my opinion, there's no, or maybe unless he does maybe two or three banks, I mean not banks, but uh, two or three. Let's see, let's see how he does it. Let's see how he does it. Let's see how he does it. I think it's a drawback. Oh, oh that's luck. That's luck. <laughs> and that is luck. So we call that the commentator's curse. <laughs> oh. What a wild shot! That shot was wild. You that call the right wild. shot. You that, call the right shot. That shot was wild. But you gave him the curse. Mm. Sometimes in this point. Nice counter attack from the Tanzanian. Nice counter attack from the Tanzanian. Wale wa Tanzania unasikiza hapa hii mechi ni race to 31 11 yule mfika 11 ndio atashinda sasa hii Watanzania Tanzania hakuna mbili Muyu wa Uganda hapo ni ora shot Leo Ibra for you So marvelous to watch what a marvel to watch. What a marvel to watch. Ibra from Uganda. A marvel to watch. But remember, it's still too close to call because it's the best 11.
down and out. Very good from Ibra Sejemo. Two or three up against saves two rocks. Now tell you what, we are set up for a tough match. There has to be a reason why this is the final. I had never tasted the milk of an elephant before. Courtesy of Safe, who milked an elephant this afternoon in the name of Caesar Chandiga. Now I know the test of a milk of an elephant. Sadopaka, you say welcome back the animal. Asante Sana. Solid break from Ibra. How about that for a break? Once in a while it would be beautiful to just open the heads of these players and see what they're thinking, patterns, angles. Paul Wanjiku, you say glad. <laughs> Let's be kind. Checks the table. Now the third play, the third place playoff was played between two Tanzanian players. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. The third place playoff was played be between uh, Maluva of Zimbabwe and Yosefu of Tanzania. That boy is a very, very technical player. Bernard Lakura, now you show up. Good evening, how are you today? Whether you are watching this match from your living room, bedroom, office, bathroom, or any other place in the globe. And to all the aliens tracking this match live from space, this is the Grand Mchana Open Final. We are coming to you live from Ngong Road. Nairobi, Kenya. We have been underway for the last four days, starting out with 128 players, now down to just these two valiant soldiers fighting for the honor of the flag. Ibra Sajimba on the table now, hails from Uganda. shots to open up the troublesome blackboard and the other participant for the final is safe we are very good in marathon So any Kenyan can tell you a thing or two about any marathon. Believe you me, this race is very, very similar to a marathon race. Do not be cheated by the scoreline. The scoreboard is lying. It's not telling the full story about this match. I told you. 
told you guys, Libra is magic. This boy is a magician. Now I'll tell you what, uh, um, Nafis, tell me. What do you predict now? The score line is at 4 nil. As a player, what point do you take um, a timeout? I believe according to the rules and regulations, it's uh, always uh, after the, the 13th frame or the 12th frame. But in this case, um, the players, I think, are privileged to call their their timeout, but it's one timeout per player. One timeout per player. So they need to use it wisely, as you cannot take a second timeout. Ah, very well guided. So very uh, good analysis there by uh, Nafis Kara already. One timeout that needs to be used wisely. Remember the tournament rules, we are on a 45 second shot clock. And the player has to take the second shot, of course coming up after the first one, within 45 seconds. Following Kinley in the aeroplane en route to Egypt for an urgent call. Quality video, high fidelity sound. Keep up Ivan Spokate. James Karuri, 30,000 feet above sea level. But you are getting us well. Self trick, my friend. Peter Gosu, you say Ibra single visits. Apple, apple, apple. Now, in the comment section, we have uh, some shared statistics that I won't uh, read on this commentary until they are backed up by a source. But I mean, it's your right to uh, give us some numbers and some figures. Please qualify that as well with uh, a trusted source. Mo Rino, watching all the way from Malawi. Keep Lagat Kowet. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Viane, you say thank you, commentator. Daniel Sik 
Kabimbi. You have met my weekend. It has been awesome, Mr. Evans. Wow. Thank you very much. Very humbling to know. If that is not magic, I don't know what is. It's a cue ball whisperer. Called the cue ball by name. And look at the behavior of the cue ball. Who is this boy? Who is this guy? Now Ibra Sejemba is in business. So, Mr. Commentator, yes, sir. By looking at the score, I believe uh, Safe has a really huge mountain to climb on the little magician. Mm -hmm. Do you think he has any chance of getting back into this game? Now, I'll tell you something about uh, the mentality of Safe. Something about the mentality of Safe. When I was watching this boy play against Sita, he actually went down quite a number of frames and he fought back. Now, let me give you some history. When this boy was playing um, BK of Kenya at uh, the round of 16, he went down 5 nil as a scoreline. He worked his way up, winning five straight frames to draw up level at 5-5. Five five. That tells the story of a player that is complete. Mentally and physically, he can fight this back. I think he has done it before, and he can do it again. I think that's my honest review, uh, Nafis Karo. Yes, you, you said it right. He did make a comeback, but should he lose this frame, Hopefully his supporters, his fans, his managers can listen to me and call for a timeout. Because the race is 211. Sejemba will probably be halfway there. And this would be the ideal time to take a timeout. Catch a breather. Sit with your team. Talk to your captain. Let them talk to you. You uh -huh. see the balls are not rolling for him. Probably something else is not right. So he needs to be advised accordingly. Uh -huh. Very well. I think it's a, it's a very uh, kind advice. I don't know if the team of uh, SAFE is following the stream. They could have gotten a tip already on the timing of their timeout. Jakob Bulbior, you are watching all the way from Mozambique. Go Ibra. I think Ibra has uh, quite some following ac across the continent. This is just lovely. It's such a delight to watch. I was feeling very hungry at lunchtime. I watched Ibra play, and all of a sudden, my stomach was filled up. Collins, good Zaishe, Makombe, who finished hard even. Johanna. I, I think they call it Johanna of Tanzania won the third place final against Malova of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. You are not getting the sound, right? One, two, mic check. One, two, mic check. Captain DMS, thank you very much, my brother. You say thanks for the work. I enjoy your commentary, my friend. 
better than I do mine. Wow, DMS, it's so good to see you here. It's about time you got into commentary and I hope one day you can sit in the box with Mr. Evans. You two would be fire for the pool world. There will be no match to play. The building will be burnt down because of the fire from the commentary box, I think. Looking forward to commentate side by side with you, Dimas. Good job. Thank you very much for your good words. game changer. Safe needs to take his chances. The boy is good. I think the boy is good uh, in terms of taking chances. I have seen very few players that are patient, as patient as um, safe. And he plays very basic shots to a very big effect. Let's start on one. Look at him go. <laughs> Collins, Kutaisha Makombe, you say, I am so disappointed with Caesar. Age, he brought the negative wood to his game for the foul that cost him big time. Uh, that's your thought. This is a very democratic space. We allow anybody to air their thoughts, share their views. Collins Kutaije, that was a very tough match. I beg to disagree with you. Caesar needed a break. He needed two shots to win it. Henry Mulua, following from Nakuru already. Henry, you are in the building this evening. Have you left the venue already? You say you are gifted. Thank you very much for the good words, sir. He might have just left Seb Jemba with the chance to take this frame. Uh -huh. From the area that I'm sitting, I don't think I can see it clearly, but let's see if this boy is going to produce another moment of magic. Pay attention for some magic now. Make sure that you are not missing Ibra Sejemba. Oh. Boy, oh boy! He did not just come with the skills this morning. He brought the luck too. What about that? For a win to take him six frames up against safe two frames. Wow. Wow. This is a very good day to be alive as a sports enthusiast. As a pool enthusiast. As a lover of the sport. What about that? Wow. Wow. That's the reason why they call him uh, the little magician. <laughs> I'll 
ultimately this game will come down to two things skill and luck Ibra Sejemba seems to have brought both to the show. Debianka, you say you have an issue with network? Let's have people confirm. very much for the confirmation. Boris Boli. Nice commentary. You support Ibra. Ibra has been around the block. And he has quite some following across the continent. <coughs> Chol Lawrence Manuel, when do you get back here from South Sudan? Chol Lawrence Manuel was to play in this game, uh, uh, in this Mutana Open, but he had to travel all of a sudden uh, for some work. Gave his opponent a very easy walkover. is the Grand Mchana Open. against the flag in this tournament. Zimbabwe will be received with very high accolades from government when they get back home. Those boys can play poor. An average age of about 21 years across the team. You gotta love it. Bruce Bantutu, you say good finish, safe. As this game advances, the breaks will, will become very, very critical. Solid breaking. I have learned quite a lot of words over the last four days from different countries. It's not a dry break, Stanley Stamere. One red ball is in. Once in a while, find the habit to look up to the heavens and thank the heavens for the chance to breathe the same air with these big names in the sport. I know I told you earlier that when Caesar Chandiga shook my hand, 
with a very firm handshake, I swore not to wash my hand for the coming one week. And you all told me, go wash up because you will need to shake the hand of Manuva. But tell you what, I will take a picture with Ibra Sejemba after this game. I will frame it for my grandkids and I will always remind them and tell them I was there. I was alive when Ibra Sejemba performed magic on pool tables across Africa. This is not your average player. This is the killer of giants. This is the killer of Aiden Joseph. Stand up for the champion. Terrific visit on the table. Looks like a very easy button now. Starts with the center pocket. Goes up table. And comes back down table for the center pocket. With a stop shot on the yellow in the middle. For the black in the center pocket. Now let's look at this. Mahatsinia, salute. Thank you very much. He has a very interesting demeanor. Ibra Sejemba, very humble, by the way. He doesn't have too much words to say, even when he has won world titles. He is now forced to go down table with a technical control on the, on the cue ball. How about that? Tindai Uvangeri Charuka Arta Bandam Lausi. Whatever that means, sounds like a good one. Sara Sarita, say an extra umpire can step in. He needs to use his timeout now if he has any chance of getting back into this game. Has he called for a timeout yet? I believe he has done so. Wow. Looks like uh, safe. It looks like safe. Come on. Has called for a timeout. Safe Hamad has called for timeout to allow him get a breather, as well as advice, as well as words of encouragement. This will give us a chance to uh, have a chit chat around the arena. You have to be here to feel the intensity of this moment. The vibe is all funk. The players who now make the audience are very, very happy. Just a quick sweep across the room. That's how it looks. Are you saying your kids and your son classic? Oh yeah, yeah, my own class and my own. No, I'm not really my thing here today. I don't know, let me give him a call and ask him. My call is it? Does it have enough kids now? Let's check, man. I didn't, I didn't check, man. You didn't even check. But I pressed it. It's okay. I won't have
Seven votes in now. We have two and a half minutes left. Kindly uh, put in your vote. Simple prediction who is winning it? The fans should have a, a say at it. Simukoko, what's up, man? We have a hundred votes in. Thank you very much for engaging the stream. Virus Peta Madung, where you say somebody must throw him the towel. What are you saying, man? 
Come on, these are fighters. These are built. These players are built for for pressure, man. Nice commentator, but you must interview those players after the sessions. Wait for it. Your request will be granted. of the poll. Wow. We have a result for the poll. We have a result for the poll. Out of 120 votes casted, 81% of you, 98 votes, you seem to think Ibra Sejemba is winning this. Now pay attention. We must all be accountable. Yes. What a moment to be alive. 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 It's part of this world. Yes. I'm telling you. Shot after shot. Shooting after shooting. Yeah. Face after defense. Uh huh. Snooker after snooker. It's a. This is all fun. This is all fun. It is unbelievable. It's hot. It's hot. This is hot. Yes. <laughs> we should thank God. Indeed, we should thank God for waking us up to watch this. So historical. Yes. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Very very massive. Asante sana. Yes. Yes. I want to speak this night to make sure the viewers see this history in the the first the biggest pool event in Africa, in it, right here in the heart of Nairobi. Now tell you what. True, true, true. So this looks like a very easy win for safe. Convincing shooting. Look at that first shot. The stroke is beautiful. The feathering is ecstatic. Like very exquisite and refined stuff. Back to the results of the poll. Unbelievable. Back to the results of the poll. Ibra Sejemba is winning by 98 votes, 81 percent. We are accountable people. We shall come back to this poll after this game and ask you the hard question. And Did remember, it happen? Remember, it's a race to 11. So, it's still so close to call. It's a, it's a, it's it's a marathon, really. Either way. It's a long marathon. Mm. It can go either way. Evans of Kacha. Yes, my friend. Top cool food player. Uh, I've um, played this game for so many years, about 35 years. Yeah. But here we are. We're witnessing talent, no talent, from Tanzania uh -huh. and from Uganda. Yeah. What do you think about Kacha? This level. I think I think our Kenyan players need to train under the ocean, starting uh, starting uh, January 2024. I'm telling you for free. Yes, this is massive. This is big. This is a turning point for our top Kenyan players. I totally agree. The exposure is the great. Yes, massive and big. But tell you what, uh, uh, Paul, if we do not excel very well in pool, we can as well. Uh, Intermarry and bring the genetics of our people into our people so that they can run as well as we run, especially people from South Africa. <laughs> what a friend I have in your culture here. Uh, what a, what this is amazing. What about the Asians? Uh, well, actually, those ones would actually bring a very good sense into uh, you know, calculation, mm -hmm. mathematics on okay, the okay. table. Okay. So that is actually very important as well. Mm -hmm. So tell you what, um, 
I had this ex girlfriend uh, in South Africa. A, okay. She's a Swazi. Okay. She left me. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy is what we need. If a girl leaves you, if a girl leaves you, that's her loss. You go back to the friend. No, that's her loss. Yeah, yeah, that's a big loss. That's because a big loss for her. It interferes with emotions. Because that's why I keep wondering. The ones of which I knew before. This one is what I knew. The ones of which I knew before. You buy me a thing. This one. Why would I buy you a drink, boy? And now the lady left me, man. So I'm, 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 I'm always mourning, man. I'm just but you are but true, 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 true. going back to this this game. Yes, I think. Uh, Ibra is playing which balls. Uh, Ibra is actually on uh, yellow balls. Yeah, but I think they will go for the finish. You think so? Yes, because it's finish. With this quality, it's not for the finish. But you go for the finish. I told you, you go for the finish. Wow. Balls are lined up well. Top quality. Top quality. Very refined player in Ibra. On the comment section, I see Oscar Getenya, who carries a very disputed title of uh, Kakamega Finest. Plays his pool out of uh, Western Kenya, Kakamega Town. Controversially uh, pronounced himself as the reigning champion of the area. Until when uh, it was proven otherwise. How are you today, my brother? Good to see you on the stream. Steven Lutevele, thanks for your compliment. the second ball. Very good spread and that will be punished. He surely will be punished. Wow. Virus Petamadungo, you sound so... What, what's up, my friend? Are you discouraged already? It's early in the stream. Come on, stay on, my friend. You have to enjoy. Your sex to Mogisha, Mr. Okacha, what did I say about it, bro? I saw some statistics. 
you can quote this as a quote as a source now. Tell them during the China Open, he did it. Tell them during the Nile Open, he did it. Give us very good references and we shall believe. I think you are right, Mugisha. Now, tell you what. Seems like we shall be going to bed early tonight. The distance between Ibra and the trophy is lesser than the distance between Saif and Ibra. You see, it looks like Ibra is using his hands to place the white ball, whatever he wants. I totally agree with you. It's the cue ball whisperer. He is the cue ball whisperer. Now, tell you what. Ibra decides to have very patient play there. his way up four frames down goes for safety virus peta madungo so this means i'm gonna miss my friend's voice fortunately champions always do 
You have to come with your cue, come with your skill, but never forget the luck. This is beginning to bring the curtains down. For the Grand Amchana Open, happening right here in Kenya, Nairobi City. What a shop! Boy, oh boy! What was that? Just what was that? Virus Peter Madungo, see you in October. My friend keeps saying, I will be in South Africa. I'm coming. See you in Johannesburg. Wow. Tell you what. Um, I thought I could hope. I thought I could believe. But sometimes, all we can do is hope against hope. Safe can no longer tap into his older version. Click Daisy Mazanza, any tournament in the future? Wow, look out for that. Look out for any information through this page. We shall be bringing the live proceedings of many other tournaments within the country to you directly. Ibra Sejemba for a break. Wait for an apple. Looking for double numbers. My friend, you say if this was a movie? Ibra Sejemba will be called Boika. This is the kind of a movie where the executive director kills the main actor and decides to take up the role and commits suicide. While doing it. Commentator, please touch that Ibra to see if he is a human being. Now, tell you all, we are breathing the same air with sporting gods of Paul. If you cut them, they do not bleed. If you scare them, they do not fret. James Chukwana, you say the commentary makes uh, the proceedings a little bit more interesting. Yes, very much so, I think. Only uh, the part of my uh, ex-girlfriend becomes a bit more emotional to me. We shall uh, maybe win her back together. I have uh, my scouts in uh, South Africa doing the ground up now. Was it, ladies? Wow. One minute, let me get my handkerchief. <laughs> uh, please stop it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming in thick and fast very hard to keep track of all of them but I totally appreciate the engagement I totally appreciate the love to our Sitchikolo big ups commentator thanks for your good words we didn't simple when you say Frank is here what is the difference between by calling Ibra magician and it's a compliment by oil I have already lost some of that comment but I will find it seem to have a very interesting uh, question there uh, but the game is uh, 
getting by very quickly. Virus Betamadungo, I wish you can be the MC at my wedding. Wow, tell you what. I only need the flight in hotel. I can do it for free. Share the content of your ex ex girlfriend. <laughs> I think I will lose half of the bite if I do that. Kubekhanim Pembu. You say you'd already be gone by now. Thanks very much for your good ones. Now this game keeps giving. With the experience I have commentating on pool matches, I can tell you for a fact, this game is not going to bed just yet. I feel like there's just one thing left for safe to do to try and crawl back his way into this game. It has been a thrilling three days bringing to you the live proceedings of the pool matches from the Grand Puchana Open. Starting from 128 players. Now down to the final two. And Ibra Sejemba wants to make sure that we are in bed by 1 a.m. East African time. Virus Petamadungo, you say so your wedding is in 2025? Not about timing. 2025, I think I will have met fences with my Swazi ex girlfriend. I will be living in South Africa, man. So that will make it even more cheaper for you. See you in October in South Africa, Johannes, but we are coming with a terrific contingent of a Kenyan team led by Colin Stuey, the captain of uh, the team, and Doreen Wandia, the captain of the ladies. She's a beautiful lawyer playing very beautiful ball. Now, with the kind of grand prizes for tournaments like the one uh, on offer tonight, players could actually begin to leave off the sport. Those are the days that we always look forward to. Ishak Scout, where did you get your Swazi girlfriend? That's beside the point. Just know that I had a Swazi girlfriend and she left me. The rest is unnecessary. Now, the graveyard has more noise than the Tanzanian players in the house now. The eerie silence from the Tanzanian contingent of players says it all. Ibra Sejemba goes 10 up against saves four games. Now this tells of a match that is one-sided. The scoreboard truly is telling the whole story now. As I said earlier, do not bother your optician. Your eyes are seeing right. The scoreboard is correct. 10 for Ibra Sejemba and four for safe. He totally is at a lost place now. There is no coming back into this one. He might try. He might fight. As I said earlier in the morning, it's good to be hopeful. In fact, very, very important to be hopeful. But the stat reminder in that scoreboard. The stark reminder in that scoreboard can never allow safe to crawl back into this one.
You can begin making your homework, your, your way home now. I am calling an end to the events of tonight. We shall remain live with pictures and sound from China Bubble Grill. Ibra has officially gone on hill. This is surely, surely the very beginning of the end for safe Hamad. So sorry for all the villages of Tanzania that have stayed up late following this stream, believing in their boy, wishing for better results, wishing for a better outcome. Tonight, the game fully respects the Mafia's law. What can go wrong? will always go wrong that statement lives true for safe tonight everything has gone wrong according to the plan this was never anywhere near the plan this was not supposed to happen but tell you what this is happening before our very eyes a very convincing whipping Ibra makes such an easy job of this final. There is no way out of this one. Terribly sorry for all the Tanzanians watching this live. Take nothing away from safe. Take nothing away from this magnificent player. Tonight was just not the night. Safe brought his A game to this battle. But his A game has fallen short. It's just not enough. We are about to declare light out for the Tanzanian villages. It will be a party like no other in Kampala. It will be a party like no other for the Ugandan players in this arena. But it will be a very heavy night for our brothers and sisters in Tanzania. Safe has fought with a lot of honor for the Tanzanian flag. He warrants to be received by none other than Mama Wataifa Samia Suluhu Hassan. He has given a very good account of himself. But his best tonight fell short. He's working very hard, but he is very late, very, very late. There is no way out of this one. Come on, come on, save us some little time, safe. The live stream community is very sleepy now. And just when we thought the boy is gone, how about that for a last kick? Now, tell you what, unfortunate as it sounds, the donkey is kicking. Pots in the black to bring very thin hope for the Tanzanian live streaming community. The villagers are sleepless tonight, hoping against hope.
there is surely no way out of this one. The boy is cornered. He's lined up and fattened very well for slaughter now. If this was barbecue, safe is ripe for a roast now. The marination is done. Ibra with a break, looking for only one game to win it. Dennis Kibet evens how much will safe receive after the defeat. One minute, let me bring that up. Now drop your nets, switch off the lights. If you love it, go take a pee. It's almost bedtime. Ibra is releasing safe out of his misery. This frame is done. Wait for the final bang. Through this commentary, it has been such a delightful experience. Wow. I will totally miss you guys. I feel forever indebted to all of you that committed your time, committed your data to follow the events of this live stream for the last three or four days. I will not tell you that I told you, but we both know it's a fact that I did. This is the last game of the night. This is the last rock of the night. This is the last black of the night. Stand up for the champion. Now stand up for the champion. Here comes the moment. 750,000 rich. We wait for the closing ceremony. The Ugandan anthem will be banging in the speakers. They have done it. Podium finish, number one, top of Africa. Ibra Sejima does it true for his country, for his flag, for his family, for his village, for his people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ibra Sejima. Wow. How about that? Just how about that now? I will be leaving you with the live pictures from the venue. Enjoy the sights and sounds from East Africa, Kenya. This is the Mchana Grand Open. For the last four days, we have been coming to you live with the happenings from the venue. But that last block from Ibra 